Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra. I welcome you to this video. Okay. In this video, we are seeing how to implement the power effects in the desktop flow. Okay. This blog is released on the March 14. Okay. So let's say we are seeing this. Okay. So, okay. So I just came to the desktop version. Okay. When you click on the new flows, okay, the this window will arise here. And here one function is came power effects enable it is in preview too okay so what is mean by power effects power effects is a low code language inspired by the excel formula syntax that brings the capabilities of logic expression to the microsoft i'm sorry it versatile declarative and designed for both no code makers and pro code developers with power effects you can express complex logics in the human friendly text format making it accessible to everyone okay so this is in simple words we can be say power effects okay if you are power as developer you know the power effects very well okay because in the power effects in power f we use the power effects okay turn on toggle to use power fx so let's see uh, how it's work okay so for that purpose, I already created one flow. So let's I jump to that flow. Okay. So now you can be see, let's I jump to the Microsoft for automate flow. And here one of sample I already created. Okay. By simply, I just taken a set variable here. Okay. And just drag it here. Okay. Let's I open it and how to use this. I will showcase you. So let's use a new variable. So you can be at understand let's drag and drop the new variable here our new variable is launch okay so i just go to the power fx uh, page okay so this is formula reference for the power fx okay you can be see here let's say zoom it okay it is not zooming no problem so this is the page for the power fx okay let's i go to the top okay you can be see this is a formula reference for the power fx language okay so here we have the near around 200 plus functions here present okay so by using this we can be used okay so let's uh, use any one of this now okay so let's we go for average one okay let's i simply click on this okay it's loading the page in this we have multiple functions average max mean sum where p okay so now let's we use average okay so in the when if you scroll here okay so syntax is present here average numeric formula that will use the numeric output okay and uh, also numeric formula also you can be use table okay if you have the table present so you can be use that table also it will give the average of that table okay so by using these functions you can be used so don't waste time let's see and how to write the power effects let's see so here you can be see we get two options here select variable and power fx okay so let's simply use equal to sign like we use in our excel and let's type average uh, the intelligence will show automatically if you can be see the average is displaying here okay and also one black pop-up is also showing returns the average means arithmetic mean of its argument okay so let's click on the enter so our average let's uh, give some values let's i provide one two one two three four five six let's close this let's save the our formula save let's uh, run and check how it's working or not so in now i just created in newware 4 okay so let's see what's output getting us okay it's running so like you can be see our where 4 is updated here 3.5 okay so similar i have used multiple functions here you can be see let's i zoom it function i use concatenate fu uh, function here okay what basically concatenate function does okay it will 
join all the strings so let's say here you can be see the var num1 is giving us 1 1 and new in combined string okay concatenate used to combine the multiple text okay max given as the maximum value here you can be see new var here, here 8 is our maximum value okay i use equal then use max and then the number of format according to the power effect same here for some left sequence so you can be used okay in the sequence you will get the table as the output here you can be c so this is all about friends if you have any questions while writing the power effects you can be share that with me in the comment box